all right you guys so here is the wig so this is just a 613 um blonde frontal wig so here i'm just showing you guys what it looks like and it is in the length 28 inches so that's what it looks like fresh out of the packaging so first things first i'm gonna start off by toning the hair so i'm just going to fill up my um container with some warm water and i'm going to be using the shimmer lights purple shampoo now when you are using the shampoo you want to be kind of careful because sometimes the shimmer lights can come out a little bit patchy on your hair so you want to make sure that you are mixing that shampoo all in that water everything is the dissolved um so that you don't have any unevenness or any you know patchiness in your wig so i'm just going to now take the wig and just dump it into that bucket um of that water and just make sure like the hair is fully covered and i'm just gonna make sure like to open up the wig and just really rake through the hair to make sure i'm getting everything you know coated evenly So I'm gonna let the wig sit in the purple shampoo for two minutes and once the timer is up I'm just going to empty my container and I did let the wig air dry a little bit because I feel like color takes better to dry hair so I let it dry about 75 80 percent dry before I went on to actually doing the watercolor method but I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly how the wig looked when it was fresh out of the purple shampoo before I let it dry so moving on to color I have two titaniums and one platinum from a door but before I add Add my dye I do like to add a little bit of salt to the water because I've seen Arrogant Tay do it in one of his coloring videos and I've been doing it ever since okay so I'm just using warm water um, some salt and then of course the dye so I added one bottle of titanium and one bottle of platinum first and then I'm just going to make sure I get all that dye about the bottle so I'm just gonna add some water shake it up and then you know make sure I get all of the extraness out of that bottle before I go ahead and um, you know mix everything up So once I have all my dye mixed up in the water, I'm just going to just submerge the wig into there. But you also want to make sure you are kind of like raking through the hair and making sure you do not have any uneven patches, especially with 613 hair. That can be very tricky and that's something you will run into. So make sure you are getting everything coated in that dye and just, you know, brushing through the hair. And you can even add more dye if you need to, which is what I ended up having to do because like the middle of the wig didn't take um, as much color so I ended up using um, about a half of that other bottle of titanium um, that I had left over so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing to color the wig and I didn't let the wig sit for that long I probably let it sit in the watercolor for about five minutes and then I went on to of course condition and everything like that so as you can see I'm just adding a little bit of more dye which it probably was less than half of a bottle So once I finish coloring the wig, of course, I'm going to empty the container, but here's how the color looks super duper pretty. So now we're going to condition. Of course, we're going to be using silicone mix. You know, this is like holy grail for wigs, weaves, whatever you got. This is holy grail. So I'm just going to condition the hair with some silicone mix, you know, brush through the hair, make sure everything is nice and saturated. And I let the wig sit in conditioner for about an hour before I went on to um, let it air dry and of course, move on to styling. Alright, so here's what the wig looks like once it was pretty much fully dry. But I am just gonna take my blow dryer just to make sure everything was a hundred percent dry before I move on to styling the wig with my hot tool. So to style this wig, I'm gonna be using my curling wand just to give like some nice kind of like wave, some big like loose curls to this wig because I didn't want tight barrel curls because this hair was very long. So I wanted, you know, just something that was very, very appropriate for the length of this wig. So of course I'm gonna be using bio 
silk um, on this hair and that is my curling wand that I'll be using so I don't know if you guys could tell but I used about a quarter size amount of the bio silk and I just you know ran that in between my hands and just you know apply that onto the hair so I'm gonna be taking you know pretty like medium sized sections and you know pretty much I'm going to start curling the wig now this is kind of like self-explanatory so I'm just gonna let you guys watch and then I'll chime in in a bit So this is the final results and this is how the color came out super duper pretty you guys this is probably one of my favorite colors to do on 613 hair so i'm definitely in love with this color but let me know down in the comments below how did you like this look and let me know if this video helped you or if it convinced you to try this color but i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you beauties in my next video bye